So in today's question, we are given a rectangle with length 18 centimeter and that 16 centimeter. Inside we have got two circles touching the sides as shown. We have to find the radius of smaller circle. Right, only smaller circle we are interested because bigger circle we can easily make out. Bigger circle will drop a radius here. So for bigger circle, this full length, that's a diameter, which is given as 16 centimeter. So the radius of the bigger circle will be 8 centimeter. And we have to find radius of smaller circle. So we'll start with using the theorem that if two circles are touching each other, then their centers and the point of contact, they all are in straight line. So I'm joining the centers MN and it's passing through the point of contact. Now from N, I'm dropping a perpendicular on MP. So from N, we'll drop a perpendicular on MP. Let's call this point as Q. So it's a perpendicular. So this angle is 90 degree. So now what is left is we have to find the sides of this particular triangle and then apply Pythagoras theorem. Right. So for smaller triangle, we'll assume that the radius of the smaller triangle is R. So this length is nothing but R. And this R is what we have to find. Okay, let's see if we can make out. So if we look at this figure, so in this figure, we have got this one angle is 90 degree, that is by construction. And this down below angle, this also is 90 degree because radius is perpendicular to the tangent. And this third angle, this also is 90 degree because radius is perpendicular to tangent. So all the angles of this triangle are 90 degrees, so it's a rectangle. And this length, which is R, so rectangle sides are equal. So opposite side, this length will be R. And MQ, which is there, MQ will be nothing but 8 minus R. Now we have got one side, the other side also we have to work out. MN, MN is, we have got, this is, uh, radius is there. This is 8 centimeter and this is, capital R. So we have got MN here. MN is 8 plus R. Okay. Now the third side is left. That's QR. So if we can find QR, the job will be well done. So I'm naming this point here as E. So because this is rectangle, so QN and PA, they are equal. Let's see if we can find PA. So this length, if we look, this length is nothing but radius of bigger circle. So radius of bigger circle is 8 centimeter. So this length is 8 centimeter. And here this, the other length, if we look, now this length, this is nothing but radius of smaller circle. So that is capital R. So PA, PA left is 18 minus 8 minus R. So PA is nothing but 10 minus R. And thus QN, QN is also 10 minus R. That's it. We have got all the three sides of the triangle. What is left is small calculation using Pythagoras theorem. So here we'll say in triangle MQN, that's yellow triangle. We have got MN square is equals to MQ square plus QN square. So let's put the value. MN is 8 plus R whole square. That's equals to 8 minus R whole square and plus 10 minus R whole square. Let's open it. 64 plus R square plus 2R is 64 plus R square minus 
16 hour. Plus, this is your 100 plus R square. So, I am applying A minus B whole square minus 20 R. So, 64 on both sides getting cancelled. R square is getting cancelled. So, we are left with solving this equation. So, let's take all the terms on one side. We are left with R square and that's 32, 52 R and plus 100 is equals to 0. So this is R square minus 50 R minus 2 R plus 100 is equals to 0. So R minus 50 and R minus 2 equals to 0. So either we'll say R is equals to 50 centimeter or R equals to 2 centimeter. Now R cannot be greater than this 18 centimeter. So R equals to 50 is a wrong answer. And the correct answer is R is equals to 2 centimeter. And this is our answer. I hope you enjoyed the solution. We'll see you in next video. Till then, tata, bye bye.